This one's pretty good. Um, yeah, I got a pretty old phone. Um, one of those Nokia ones with the green and black screen on them. And it's got Snake 2 on it, which is so much better than any version of Snake. Except I've, I've been told that the first Snake was pretty good. I've got Snake 2 and, you know, apparently Snake 1's better, but, you know, it remains to be seen. I've never seen it. And this is just stupid. I mean, come on. How hard can this be? You just go around in circles, eat the mouse. For fuck's sake. The little ball you can play with. Whee! You sort of wrap yourself around it like a big boa. Ah, <laughs> boa. Get it? Whoa. Control on the ball, baby. Whee! Um. I mean, I guess this could get hard after a while once my tail gets to a certain, uh, Epoch. Come on, man. Woo! Go around in circles and eat the mouse. Now, the, the big question for me about Snake has always been, what kind of snake can't go over its own fucking tail? Um, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to assume that if I crash headfirst into my tail, my snake will die or something. Now, what the hell kind of snake, as I said, can't go over a portion of itself. I mean, it just does not make any fucking sense to me. I'm sorry, it's just not a very clever game mechanic. I mean, I love the game of Snake as much as anybody, but that's always sort of taken away from it, for me. I'm actually getting hypnotized by the spiral in the middle of the screen. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now, I can get myself tangled and not die, but then if I, like, go... Oh, whoop. All of a sudden, I'm dead. I mean, fair is fair, people. I, I don't get it. Oh. <gasps> Get a little ball, you snake. Oh. What the f... Apparently, you can die that early. 